Hello guys and welcome to my latest video. So in today's video I'm going to share with you guys the DayZ um, server emulator and also the client so you can create your own uh, DayZ server and join and have a good time. As you were able to see in the beginning of the video I was able to um, you know create the server inside my local area network in my two computers and I was able to um, you know to encounter both players uh, in the same spot. So basically, as always, what you're going to do is go to my webpage, uh, rebusotnet.com, go to the forum, register, wait for email confirmation, and then just go to Hacking Games, and the latest thread is going to be about the game. And here you will be able to download uh, all the pack. So uh, it's very straightforward. This video is going to be pretty short because it's very simple. Everything is pre-configured. So um, if you want to create a server, obviously uh, one computer has to create a server, and um, you have to choose whatever Daisy server Chernaros or Daisy server Livonia. So uh, whatever you want to do the in here, um, just uh, make sure to just uh, execute it. It's very straightforward. It's just we're gonna uh, execute this one. Open the firewall, and this little window should appear. That it's the basic uh, server emulator. Once you're done with that, just close the server folder and go into the game uh, game client. This is the one that you just uh, have to give to all your friends or to you, the different computers. This is the actual game. Make sure to edit this little bat here and uh, make sure to put the IP in case um, this is the actual computer that's hosting the server so we don't have to change anything just by typing 127001 is enough. But if you're in another computer in the same network that you want to connect to this computer, you have to type the local IP of the server computer. So let's say this computer, sorry about that, we're going to open the CMD, just type IP config and uh, identify your local IP. So the local IP of this computer is going to be this one. So all the clients will have obviously to um, type the local IP of the server. So uh, once that, just make sure to execute it, and you should be able to sure if this server actually works in online. I'll have to figure it out uh, later. But you know, I just wanted to make it to work in LAN, so that's enough for me. Okay, so the mouse has fucked up. Okay, so we are entering the game. The servers should be functional, so we should be able to connect into the server. Uh, it's going to take a couple of minutes until you are uh, connected, so just be patient until this loading, loading bar is done. Okay, so we are here, and as you can see, we are already in game. Um, we have a character that's been created, I think, in random. Uh, each time you die, you get a new character, and uh, basically that's it. You have to survive inside this little. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's little. I think it's pretty huge. This, this huge map. That is obviously, as you can see, there. Uh, and there are some zombies. We still didn't encounter any. I think the zombies are mainly in the urban areas, not in, in this uh, country yard or, or anything. So, yeah, basically we are connected into the server. Uh, you can connect with friends and have fun um, and try to survive this kind of uh, walking dead uh, looking game. You have to gather resources, uh, you know, uh, get some food, drink, uh, get proper shelter, not to die from hypothermia. Um, you, may, you gotta make sure also to not bleed because if you, obviously you can bleed, um, die from losing a lot of blood, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I guess uh, I th hope you like it, and uh, see you next time in my next video. Bye.